In 1890s, an English physicist by the name of J.J. Thomson discovered what became known as the electron. And following his discovery, many scientists began to realize that atoms must have some sort of structure to them. Now, one of the earliest models proposed to describe the structure of the atom was proposed by J.J. Thomson himself, and this model became known as the Plum Pudding model. Now, this model basically described the atom consisting of a homogeneous sphere of positive charge in which we have tiny negatively charged particles that are known as electrons. And this is described by the following diagram. So we have negatively charged electrons which are embedded inside our relatively large positive sphere that has a positive charge that is uniformly distributed throughout the entire sphere. Now, in order to test the validity of this proposed model for the structure of the atom, a scientist by the name of Ernest Rutherford conducted an experiment in 1911 in which he bombarded a sheet of metal with positively charged alpha particles and then examined the deflection pattern of those alpha particles. So, the experiment is basically summarized in the following diagram. So we have a very small opening through which our alpha particles are, essential, are essentially allowed to pass. Now this is the metal that we bombard our alpha particles with and this is the viewing screen that is able to detect our deflected alpha particles. Now what exactly did Rutherford expect to take place? So if the plum putting model is in fact correct and the atom does consist of a large sphere of positive charge embedded with tiny electrons, then the alpha particles should pass through relatively undeflected and that's because of two very important things that this model assumes. So it assumes that the electrons are very light and so when our collision between the alpha particles and those electrons take place, those alpha particles will essentially remain relatively undeflected. Now also, the plum putting model assumes that there is no concentrated region of positive charge and because the positive charge is found uniformly distributed in a relatively large region, the alpha particle will essentially pass undeflected. Now, what exactly were the results of this experiment? So, in many important ways, the results of this experiment basically contradicted the plum putting model of the atom. Now, what were these results? Well, the experiment showed that most alpha particles passed undeflected as if the metal consisted mostly of empty space. Now, the few particles that did deflect, however, deflected at very large angles. In fact, some were even deflected directly backwards as shown in the following diagram. So, when these alpha particles hit the following metal, most most of these alpha particles went directly through. Now some of them deflected at slight angles and most of them deflected at very large angles and some of them even deflected directly backwards. Now what exactly can we conclude from the following results which were basically the results of an experiment that became known as Rutherford's experiment. So Rutherford concluded that the atom is mostly empty space that contains a very tiny concentrated region of positive charge surrounded by orbiting electrons that move with some velocity around in a circular fashion as described in the following diagram. So, 
Let's look at the results once more. The results showed that most alpha particles pass through undeflected and that means most of the atom must consist of empty space. Now the alpha particles that did deflect deflected at very large angles and that means the collision basically took place with a concentrated region of positive charge and that's exactly why he concluded that there is the center that contains a very concentrated region of positive charge.